All right. <clears throat> okay, everybody. So, I have t tested the Cronus Max gaming adapter on the Xbox One and found that most of the things I tried to use with it worked properly with no issues. We did have an issue with an older joystick, but for the most part, it seems to be an excellent option if you want to use a different control gamepad or style for the Xbox One. It is an excellent option to do that. But I had this burning question in the back of my head the entire time I was filming all that footage is, what happens if you try to use this with PS4? What exactly happens? Does it even recognize it? Right? You, you would think that if you plug a PS4 controller into this thing via a USB cable, it should work theoretically, right? So what happens if we try other controllers? I don't know. So let's actually do it. We're going to try it right now. Okay? So I've got it uh, attached to the USB extension cable because in the case of the PS4, they actually put the USB ports in the front in a very narrow slot, almost hiding them, per se, from view. And so you basically need... You will need to um, use the extension cable because the chubbiness of the actual um, Cronus Max is too chubby to fit in this little narrow area where they have the USB ports. So I've plugged in the Cronus Max to the front of my PS4 and it, right now it's blinking and saying AU. Keep in mind this is the same code that blinked when I had plugged in the Cronus Max to my Xbox One. So in theory, it is doing the same thing. I'm now going to take my PS4 gamepad, all right, controller, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to take the cable, the USB cable that came with it. I'm going to plug the cable into the controller first. Voila. And now I'm going to plug in the other end of the USB cable into the Cronus Max and let's see what happens. Here we go. Alright. So, it appears, to me at least, it appears that my theory was correct. As you can see, it's working. And it's asking me, do I want to log in as myself? Of course I do. And so my PS4 controller works with the PS4, and what's happened is the Cronus Max no longer is blinking and saying AU, it says zero. Now if you remember, on the Xbox One, this means you would bypass the uh, authentication step, and that you should be able to plug in any other controller into the front of your, you know, your Xbox One, and it would work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to use other things with it. So the first one we will do is the very first one. Uh, that we actually did on the Xbox One. This is going to be the Mad Cats Arcade Fight Stick Tournament Edition S for the Xbox 360. Let me go get it and let's plug it in and see what happens. Here we are. Ports caught. Shit. All right, I've got it. I'm going to unplug the PlayStation 4 controller from the Cronus Max right now. Here we go. All right, the controller was unplugged. I'm now plugging in the Mad Catch joystick into the Cronus Max. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we've we uh we just did something amazing. Watch this. You gotta be kidding. I think it works. There's one way to find out, right? There's no fighting games that you can play, unfortunately, on the PlayStation 4. Except for, uh-oh, now wait a minute, uh-oh, we've got a development. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a development. So here's what's happened. 
It's working. It seems to be working. However, the Cronus Max is now blinking AU again. I don't know exactly what that means. Okay. Let's jump into a game and see what happens. What game should we jump into here? Um, I'm trying to think of a game that you could play with a joystick. But anyway, yeah, I got distracted. I was going to say there is a fighting game, Injustice, but I don't have it. Um, maybe I could download the Injustice demo. I don't know how long that would take, though. <laughs> is there a demo for Injustice? I don't know. Hmm. Well, what about Rezogun? Nothing. Oh, here we go. Rezogun. Let's try this. People are saying, no, there is not a demo. There's no demo for Injustice, so I wouldn't be able to try it. That stinks. That stinks. It should be. You hear me? It stinks. Options. Controls. Overdrive, bomb, throw human, and boost. So it's going to be these four buttons. What did I do? I backed out by accident. Single player. Rookie. Because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even remember how to play this. <laughs> oh, no. Wait a minute. I can't play this. Because this game needs two thumbsticks, one to move and one to shoot. And I don't have another another joystick to shoot. So that is not going to work. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. So maybe I should do something else. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something else. Stick tail in the stream chat says everyone was wrong. There is a demo available for injustice. Really? Maybe we'll check that out then. But anyway, uh, I can't move at all because I don't have a joystick. Yeah, it's not working. I could, sh I could. The buttons work, but I can't move because I don't have a joystick to play this. All right, hold on a second. What if I do this? Right now it's at the D-pad. What if I set to left stick? Aha! The joystick itself has a switch that lets you go from left stick, right stick, or D-pad. If I go to right stick, now I can shoot, but I can't move. So I can move and then shoot, but I can't shoot and move at the same time. <laughs> That's not going to work. Alright, so forget this. Let's see if we can get the Injustice demo. And if we can, then we can properly test this joystick. Right? Crap. Uh. There we go. Close application. I, I'm trying. I'm pressing every button, and the thing tried to take a picture. All right. Let's go to the PlayStation Store. <clears throat> Demos. We could try Strider, maybe. Try the Strider demo. That might work. Why? Wait a minute. Why is it listing the, the prices of games if these are demos? I am very confused right now. Nah, this ain't gonna work. They don't have it. The guy was a liar. The man... Was a liar. Ah, oh, <laughs> he got me. All right. Um. Then let me get. I'm gonna do the the next thing I can do is load an actual PS4 game. Let's put in Lego. Let's put in Lego Lord of the Rings. I'm sorry. Lego the Hobbit, not Lego Lord of the Rings. Lego the Hobbit. Let's pop that one in. Lego the Hobbit. Wait a minute, now people are saying there is a demo. What the hell? More people are saying no, there's a demo, it's just not listed. You have to search for it. 
All right, hold on. I'm, I'm probably getting... I'm going to get trolled so bad. Watch this. And... Wow, it's infinitely easier to do this now on a, on a joystick than on a D-pad. Look at this. Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition. Wow, it's cheap. It's only 25 bucks. Really? That's not bad. It's 22 gigs. So it completely fills your hard drive, but it's not bad. That's a great price for Injustice. Man, if you haven't gotten Injustice yet, I would get it for 25 bucks. That game's a ton of content for only 25 bucks. Sweet. Well, no, I'm not going to do it now. All right, Lego the Hobbit. People trolled me again, told me there was a demo. What a bunch of jerks. What a bunch of jerks. I also have no audio, by the way, but it doesn't matter. We don't need to hear anything right now. Yeah, I didn't ever hooked up my headphones. I didn't even bother. All right, skip this. Skip this. Skip. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. What did I do? I started recording. I started recording a fucking a video. <laughs> wow. Okay, load game. Go. Mm. Mm, okay. Alright, so I'm using the joystick right now, and it's working, as you can see. No problem. Let's try the buttons. There's attack. What's this? Jump. Triangle to open up the menu and change characters. Circle is lift or pick shit up. If you hold it, you do this. So the four face buttons work perfectly. The shoulder buttons, I believe, right trigger and left trigger go through your items. And it works. It is working. I don't know what right bumper and left... Oh! Right bumper rotated the camera behind me. Check that out. Which I didn't even know. And left bumper has no function. So ladies and gentlemen, it's just working. Who's this guy? Oh, I punched him in the face. Here. How do I get up there? Here's what you do. You suck on Sting, you fall off the fucking ledge, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright. So guess what? This is working, which I didn't think it would. I actually did not think this would work with PS4. It's working perfectly. In fact, look, I'll do fireball motion. And look, he's moving the motion that the fireball would be down forward. I mean, I can't test it with a fighting game, but it seems to me like it works, right? Okay. So, this is... For the, what do you call it? This is the Mad Cats Arcade Fight Stick Tournament Edition S, the Xbox 360 stick. It works. It actually works. All right. Now. Now let's go to, let's unplug this. Let's see, because this may be a different process than the Xbox One, because like I said, it, it doesn't. It's not. Doesn't say zero right now. It's going saying AU again. Like it's looking for authentication again. So I'm gonna unplug this joystick. Here we go. I'm actually gonna put this joystick aside because I'm probably going to use it in a short while here. And now I'm going to go get the same exact joystick, but for the PS3 version. Let me go grab that one. Alright, I am now going to plug in this version of this joystick into the Cronus Max and see what happens. Well, 
Let's find out. Whoa, it's working. Even though the Cronus Max is blinking and saying AU, it's working. You wanna know why it's working? Because the freaking PS3 doesn't have the same limitations as the Xbox One, I bet. I bet the PS3 doesn't have any kind of authentication issues. Stab the shit out of that skeleton. It's working fine, every button. Yup, every button is working. As you can see. We got a secret area right here. Open that goddamn door. So both Mad Catch joysticks work. Okay. Now, let's switch this over and test the Hori joysticks. I'm curious if the Hori sticks work. Let's find out. Let's unplug this one. Okay, I unplugged it. I'll put this one back. We're going to go get the Hori uh, Real Arcade Pro EXSE. This one is the stick that I tested earlier today that has Sumitsu-style buttons, not Sanwa. So if you're a Sumitsu aficionado, this is going to be your, your cup of tea. I'm going to plug this into the Cronus Max and see if this one works. Alright. Well, good sign is that the light lit up on it. It's working. It's a lot louder than the other one. But it's working. Here's your attack. The only difference here is the button layout is much different on this joystick. That's your triangle. Here's your charge attack. Oosh. There we go. So this one works too. So, so far, three sticks right in a row work on the PS4. Superb. Outstanding. Okay. Now that's three out of four. Let's put this one back. And now that, now we're going to do the, the, the... This is going to be the real test of metal. Okay. Because what we're going to do now, we're going to test and actually see if the joystick that did not work on the Xbox One it was called a different... I forget what it was called. It was an older model, Real Arcade Pro. I doubt it's going to work, and I get, think it's the controller... Uh, the Cronus Max doesn't have the drivers for it, but I say let's worth a shot. Let's try it. Okay. All right. Unplug this. Put this sucker back. This is the real Arcade Pro 3 Special Edition. This is the one that's old. They made it for PS3, which is why they called it the 3. But it would not work on the Xbox One. Let's see what happens when I plug it in. Error. E. It blinks E. Error. It does not work. Okay. So now we know that this joystick... It's just too old to work with the Cronus Max. All right, fair enough. It didn't work on one, it didn't work on the other. All right, we're not done with our testing. We got two more tests that I would like to run, okay? So. So now. Let's actually do what we did with the Xbox One, okay? Let's plug in 
a original PS3 controller to the PS4 via USB and see if we can get it to work, shall we? All right. Here it is. So this is the original six axis controller for PS3. We're about to plug it into our PS4 via the Cronus Max. Okay. It's plugged in and, uh oh. Uh-oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not working. This does not seem to be working. Now, here's the thing. Is this because I just plugged in a controller that screwed it up and gave it an error? Or is it because the controller really doesn't work? I don't know. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to plug in the PS4 controller again to get it to re-validate re the authentication issue if there is one. All right, let's do that first. So I'm unplugging the PS3 and plugging in the PS4 controller. That turned on my PS3 for some reason. All right, as you can see, it's again recognizing the controller, it allows me to plug it in. So this is the PS4 controller. The Cronus Max now reads zero, which it's supposed to. Okay, I'm going to unplug the PS4 controller from the Cronus Max and re-plug in the PS3 controller. But first, let me turn off my PS3, which is what it's synced with, which is going to screw with this. Hold on. Turn off. All right, the PS3 is turning off. Quite the interesting experiment this is, man. All right, we're gonna unplug the PS4 controller and plug in the PS3 again and see what happens. It works. So my theory was correct. The reason that that had an error and was not working was because we had plugged in an erroneous controller f at first. And so the erroneous controller screwed it up. So yes, you can use your PS3 controllers on your PS4 with the Cronus Max if you so wish. Although keep in mind, a lot of PS4 games are going to have features enabled to the touchpad of the PS4 controller. But the good news is, let's say, okay, you didn't buy a spare PS4 controller, but you want to get a Cronus Max because you want to use joysticks, but now you're playing a two-player game on PS4, well, you can use this to turn your PS3 controller into a PS4 controller. That's neat, right? That's pretty freaking neat. Alrighty. Alright, no input lag, by the way. Looks fast. Nothing. Quick. Everything is responsive. All right, there's one final test that I want to do. There's one final test that I think we need to do on the PS4, okay? I want to see if we can play the PS4 with the Xbox One controller. Does it work? Can we use P Xbox One on PS4 with the Cronus Max? <laughs> I know, it's going to be pretty stupid. Let's try it. Why not? Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Unplug the PS3 controller. Which turns on my PS3 again. God damn it. Why? Stop it. Stop turning on my PS3. <laughs> Oh, all right, I'll have to turn that off in a second. I'm going to replug in the PS4 controller to make sure that it validates. I don't want it to screw up the validation. All right, as you can see, it's validated. Very nice. 
Okay. I'm going to unplug the USB cable from the back of the PS4 controller. I'm going to plug it into the Xbox One controller, and we're going to see what happens. Now, brace yourselves. Things might explode. Here we go. I'm about to jump down behind my coffee table in case the PS4 shoots this fucking Hobbit disc out and he tries to decapitate me for plugging a Microsoft peripheral into it. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. I'm inserting the USB cable. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now! What the? It's working! Are you kidding me? It's working perfectly! I'm playing with an Xbox One controller on the PS4! Oh my god! I can't believe it! It's working! This adapter is amazing! It actually works! What the hell? Xbox One on PS4! It's happened! The consoles have had sex with each other and created a hybrid monster! Holy shit! So there you go! Hey, how cool is this? So if you have a Cronus Max and you accidentally break a controller but you want to keep playing a game and you own the competitor's console, you could still do it. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, this adapter is sick, man. It works with everything. All right, you know what? I think that we are having such success tonight. I think what we need to do is actually officially keep going. I think we need to test this with the PS3 and the Xbox 360. And we need to see if you can use your competitor's joystick on your console and if the other pads will work on them as well. What do you think? People are saying to test, the, test it with Wii U. I say no. Screw that shit. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Let's turn this off, right? Let's turn off the PS4, which I think I can do with my Xbox One. I'm going to turn off the PS4 with my Xbox One controller, which makes no sense, but we're going to do it. <laughs> okay. All right, let's turn this off. Turn off PS4. All right, what I'm going to do, what should I test first? I think the easiest one to test would be the Xbox. It's already hooked up. All I need to do is swap one cable, and we could easily test the Xbox. So maybe we'll do that for... All right, let me end this video. I'm an idiot. I'm recording this video, and it went to black screen, and I'm still talking. I'll end this video. That was the PS4 test video. Now we're going to test it with other consoles. Oh. <laughs>